Today we are going to learn how to add freckles to your artwork. Now freckles is something that makes your artwork look so nice but in most cases if you apply it wrongly it's really going to damage your artwork. But I've made use of it several times and it's really really okay. Within those period I make use of it I found out that it's really so awesome but recently I've not been able to make use of it in any of my artwork but today I decided to show you guys how to make use of it because it's really awesome and in case you don't really know what is fragrance let me just really go ahead and show you fragrance now all the stuff you have on the skin looking like a bump and so on those are called fragrance and if you add them to your artwork it's really going to make it look so much awesome now the fragrance brush is included in my brush pack but I know that most of you have not even made use of it because you've never seen me do that in any of my artwork. Well, today I'm going to show you guys how to make use of that brush and how to use it and apply triggers on your on your artwork. So I'm just going to hide this group which I've already done. So I'm going to create a new layer and I'm going to right click and select the freckle brush one out of the two of them this is me this one is making use of the pressure sensitivity as so as this one and you have the options of turning the brush where it has a kind of like a random um let's just go over to the windows and brush settings and you are going to see it right here and we have the option the scattering options which is going to make the brush move from different places you're like multiplying your one brush into several many brush so with this it's really going to be easy for you to apply something so nice in your own artwork and we have the angle jitter the moment you keep pressing it's going to turn and change like something like this when you see the many other one it's going to change it's the way it is going to change its form to give it a random look that is really going to make it look so nice and really so cool so i'm just going to take that away and i'm going to hide this that panel so if you want to add a freckles to your artwork you need to pick from the skin tune and pick something a little bit darker or if that can really work for you it's really fine you can make it lighter you can make it darker it all really depends on how you want it but i already have a color code which i have already saved and which i am really going to be using which is this right here this is part, practically part from my skin tune and i'm just going to make use of this so i'm going to decrease the size of the brush to let's just say somewhere around um let's just say probably 100 would be enough or maybe higher than 100 150 yeah something like this is really okay so now you want to zoom into the attack and we, we all always know that the freckles are mainly most mostly on the chin and the nose so we just really want to apply that on those places so let's just do that so right now i'm just going to go and do some stuff right here and so on and i'll go over to the nose now this is a little bit too much and of course you can see it's overlaying on the eyeglass and we really don't need that so grab the eraser to and try to erase some part of it which you don't really need so i'm going to grab the soft round brush and the soft eraser brush and i'm going to erase some part of it so i really want it to be inside of this part of the eyeglass so what i'm going to do i'm going to soften that part so i'm just going to take these all these parts away you want to do this little by little gradually so that you don't go out of where you need it and this eraser is making use of the pressure sensitivity option that's why it's kind of like making kind of sense for me so inside the eyeglass where i need it yours I'm just let me go erase it from this part now all this part now since the eyeglass is overlaying on top of it it's not really supposed to be as sharp as this so i'm just going to make use of the eraser to to pass over it just like this now to make it a little bit transparent so i'm just going to erase some part like all this side it's not supposed to be showing real well from all these sides so i'm going to erase all these and leaving it only on the nose so I'm gonna do this right here too 
and it's never gonna be on top of here. And I'm gonna repeat the same thing right here, but I don't really need it on other places. I don't really need it that much. Okay, so I'm just going to. So I'm gonna be good right there, even right here. So. So this is what we are having and if you have done if you are done applying this stuff all you just have to do reduce the opacity of it so that it's really going to blend with the skin. Now it has it, it, that it have had a whole lot of kind of like dimension to your art so making it look more realistic than the way it is before I guess in my next video I'm going to show you guys how to add texture to your skin that is really going to make it look real because when you paint digitally it's kind of like going to look a little bit of plastic that is if you don't make use of a texture brush but if you make use of a texture brush it's really going to be okay and really fine for you but if you don't make use of a texture brush you just make use of the default soft run brush and so on it's really going to be looking like a plastic so in my next video i'm going to show you guys how to add a texture to your artwork as you can see you can see that we have a little bit of a texture right here as you can see so i did this after i finished painting and i'm really going to show you guys in the next video so i hope this video really teaches something and if you do don't forget to hit the subscribe button and not just the subscribe button ring the bell icon so that you my friend don't miss any new tips and tricks i will be posting every week